Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Togan's Fly Shop, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and Hardy Rods and Reels. So it'll determine where we go fishing today yep. and what kind of species because certain species like certain types of water, yeah. other species don't. Tarpon and permit are our big goal today and that would be nice to see some rolling tarpon. Yeah. See that elusive fin by the permit. Oh, I love that. The tailing mm -hmm. fin. Oh, 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 yes. <laughs> Gotta do so that. it's today with Kathy as we take you sport fishing on the fly. Well, we went out this morning, looked out on the flats, and there's a gale blowing. Like, it's impossible to fish. There's huge white caps, we can't fish it. So, we've gone on an adventure. We've headed south, inland a little bit, and we're on the Manatee River. So we've just shown up here, and we're starting to see some tarpon rolling, which is really great, great news, and they're all throughout the river here. The tide is just starting to change a little bit, so we're casting in toward the shoreline, out wherever we can see them roll put on a big, heavy black and red pattern. We're gonna see if we can get ourselves a tarpon today. Go, here you go, Joe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh! oh. oh. <laughs> wow! Rats! But I was talking. <laughs> rats! Oh, wow! But rats! I was talking, man. <laughs> oh, man! Oh, it's. Rats! <laughs> I got nothing. Man, I saw that fly in its mouth and you just <laughs> threw it. I was talking that you do. Yanking and yanking and man, and that's still. Let's have a look here. Still Look at that. Get on? Got this big stinking snake. Look at that. Hook sharp. Everything's good. Leader's fried. <laughs> Let's see how sharp this puppy is. Look how sharp that is and it still came out. Still came out even after drilling them. I can't believe it. All right. 
So we think it's a snook, it's not a tarpon because it's yeah, not it's jumping. A snook, man, no jump. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's a <laughs> big some, snook. Sometimes it's a jump too. Wow. They act like tarpon sometimes. This is a 12 weight rod for this snook. And we just had a tarpon roll out here too. And we still got half the day. Still good to go. Man, this is crazy, the snook for the fight. There he is there. Oh. Boy, they sure like that uh, that snake fly. Yep. Look at that, he turned on it. Oh. Snook in the net. <laughs> Snook in the net. All right, you can unhook him and yep. we'll hold him up. Come here against the sun, yeah. Oh, that's cool, eh? Yeah. That's what, uh, about a six? Well, yeah, well, seven, six, seven, pound, six, seven yeah. pound snook? Nice. Yep. Well, let's let her go. Cool. That's kind of a wild fish. Yeah. All right. Now let's put snook her back in. Go. <laughs> put her back in. I'll let you do it on this side where we got sun. Yeah, I'm releasing back this guy so that we could get him another day, another time. Yeah, because they're good eating. Yep. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. He's good. There he goes. <laughs> hit Kathy just hit another two tarpon like bam bam two little guys like 20 pounders got off and I just I think I hooked another snook like it's crazy in here right now you know we're up on the Manatee River and it's just unreal because we're blowing up the flats like in just big big winds oh gee another big snook and the uh, we came in here just to look for some fish saw some rolling tarpon right off the bat and now we're just one after another it's absolutely it's incredible fishing. And look at this. Look at these. These are not small snook. Whoa. Look at that, eh? Look at the size of that snook. Wow, they're good fighters. These are, you know, these are seven, eight pound snook. So everything's out feeding in here. We had bait fish come down. So we came in at slack tide. Essentially, the tide was still pushing in a little bit, just reversing. Now the tide's all going out and the fish are just piling in here to feed. It's unbelievable. Okay, I think this guy's ready, John. Boy, he inhaled it. He wanted that. He wanted the snake. Oh, yeah. look at the size of that snook. How big's that guy, John? Well, the same size. Wow, nice. Yeah. Look at that. That is beautiful. <laughs> Lovely. You know, another nice seven pound snook. Yep. All right. Well, let's let her go. That's fantastic. Uh -huh. <laughs> this fishing is crazy, crazy good. You ready, buddy? Gonna want to go pretty quick. Yeah, I'm pretty warm water. Him. He's good. Oh yeah. Oh. There she goes. Oh. There she goes. There she goes, swimming on top. Okay, well that was another two casts. Decided to go out in the big water. And I haven't seen a jump yet, so I'm thinking it's another snook. Oh no, look at that, a little baby tarpon. So now this is a nice little tarpon. This guy is a, that would fit in the mouth of Kathy's fish. <laughs> Kathy's was 100, that one's more like a little guy. But that's kind of cool, eh? Showing the variety. Yeah. Isn't that neat? Like how big, that's just a nice little baby, isn't it? Uh, about a 10 pound? Yeah, about 10 pounds. There's the hooks out. The snake. There we go. Hooks out. Yeah, just hold this guy up. Look at it. Yeah, that's a nice little, 
you know, you got all those guys. So the big ones we had, like Kathy's, huge yeah. fish. And that's just a nice little guy. It's fantastic. Cool. Wow. Yeah, tarpon in the boat. <laughs> it's just amazing. Absolutely amazing the day. Okay, let's let her go. Just a little guy. Hit right away. Okay, another another five casts. And I got a nice, you know, again, whoa, about a about a 20 pound tarpon. This guy is nice, you know, they're getting better. And again, when you're fighting tarpon, just like Kathy showed you earlier with hers, rod sideways. You know, you don't want to ever try to muscle them up. Always turn their head a little bit. And this guy's gonna to wanna to go. He's coming right to the boat. I'm trying to trying to keep him hold oh, look at that. He's gonna to wanna to go. Whoa, man. I'm trying to get him going the right way. Come on. Oh yeah, there he is there. Oh, another nice fish. Oh, right in the lip. Now, this is why I like this size tarpon, because you can actually land them. You know, like the 100 pounders, man, they're tough. They are just full of life and they are tough. Oh, this guy, 12-way rod, so I can be pretty aggressive. There he is there. Oh, okay. It's just, it's, it's crazy in here right now. You know what we're gonna do right now? Let's go to the bench. I'm gonna tie you up the, uh, the snake fly. This snake, you can see in the tip of his mouth is a great pattern. So let's go to the bench. I'm gonna tie you up a black snake. Today on the bench, I wanna tie you up the black snake. Now this fly comes in a variety of different colors, but the black snake we found with the black obviously worked the best. So make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the hook, we'll use a C68 Mustad 3-aught tarpon hook, some 6-aught black nano silk for the thread, some small white dumbbell eyes for the eyes, some black saddle hackles for the tail, some olive crystal flash for the tail flash, and some black saddle hackles for the body and head. So to start the fly off, I've got my hook in the vise and I'm gonna tie my black thread. And just get a little bit of a base layer ready for where we're gonna put the eyes. And we don't wanna put the eyes right at the very front. We wanna leave a little bit of room there. So I'm just gonna tie in some of these slightly weighted dumbbell eyes. It's not enough to flip the fly over, but it does give it a little bit of motion. And that's what I like. And now the fun part is selecting your hackles. Now we're gonna tie in the hackles and what you want is saddle hackle. You wanna make sure you use a, a big saddle and always the hackles from way back here, way in the back. So I'm gonna tie four in on one side. So just wrap that in. I'll tie four in there and I like to go once around just to hold them up. And then go back around. And now we have the four tied in, get rid of your excess, cut off that. And now what we're gonna do is wrap over that part of the body and we're gonna tie four in on the other side. And again, you'll see it comes, make sure they're all about similar size. You know, I measure them up, get rid of all the fluff. You know, you got all this fluff in there. Get rid of that and then tie them in on that side. And then you have four on each side. Now that we have the tail tied in, I want that tail flash, and I like to use the crystal flash. Now, if you cut the crystal flash, you can actually get it to be the whole length, you know, if you, if you use a whole length of it. But since I'm only gonna use certain segments, and I want them as long as the tail, I'm just gonna cut off, you know, around eight to 10. Make it sure it's close to the same length, just a little bit shorter than the tail and tie in on one side. And once you've got that tied in well on the one side, cut off your excess. And I'm gonna do the same with the other side. Now we have the tail tied in and the crystal flash. You can see that makes just a really long tail. That's, you know, that's a good five inches plus long. We're gonna take a few more hackles. Now, these ones are one about the same length. We're again, remove most of the, the fluffy stuff off the end. I've got about three hackles here, you know, anywhere from three to four is good. Tied in right at the 
right at that hook bend, right where you finish the tail, by the butts, tie it in by the butts, really wrap it in good, cut off your excess. And then what I'm gonna do is just wrap them forward. I'm gonna palmer them forward. So just keep wrapping. And as you wrap, just pull it back. And this is gonna form a great, really fluid body and head on the fly. Now that we have the body and the head tied in, I'm gonna pull all this back and just form a nice solid head on the fly. So I'm gonna take a bunch of wraps right in front of the eyes, build up a nice head on the fly, and get out your whip finisher and whip finish it off just to finish off the fly. And there it is, the finished tarpon snake. We used different patterns all through Cuba and Belize and other places we fish for tarpon. And we found that sometimes the big Puglisis are good, you know, they're really fat patterns. We found that the smaller tarpon toads are very effective down in Cuba. But in Belize, for some reason, this trip, they all wanted this tarpon snake. It had to be the snake. If you didn't have a snake, you weren't having any luck. So when you're going down for big tarpon and snook, make sure you have some black tarpon snakes. How's about that? You know, that's just steady action. You know, what's that? Yeah. About again, about 15, about 15, pound, 15 tarpon. pound tarpon. You know, it's crazy. There are 100 plus pound tarpon rolling around like Kathy caught. There's the, all these ones this size. It's fantastic. You know, the past 10 casts I've caught two snook, three tarpon. That's crazy. Okay, fire them back in. Beautiful. Uh, Let's get them going. Woo. Yeah, good job. Keep it up, keep it up, Pike. You're, you're on, on top. Hey man, he was running, so you gotta put a set on him. Yeah, I know. When you get him on the fly line. to our viewers, I can't look at you right now. We got this fish. Amazing. A 12 weight can behave like a four weight. We're okay. Good. So, and when we come out of here from Belize, drive two my two hours. Yeah, <laughs> we go a long way to get this. <laughs> okay. Two hours to hook this guy. <laughs> I'm a wee bit thirsty. Okay, there's my leader. Whoa! Whoa, it's a big fish. <laughs> okay, now we got big fish out of John. All this time it's like, yeah, whatever, it's a minnow. Now he says, that's a big fish. Oh. <laughs> I just see the size. John, I just see the size of the some fish slack, hey, yeah. buddy? Yeah. <laughs> I told you it was big. Oh, yeah. Mm. Wow. Oh gosh. I don't want to get into that. I don't want to get into this. Uh, that's, a, that's just a little. Yeah, let me see if I could. Uh, she might freak out with the motor. Yeah. Oh, me and the fish. Oh, man. We've been fighting this big tarpon for, I don't know, an hour plus. And we're trying to get it to the beach. Yep.
Okay, there's my leader. So, John, I've heard that you jump on tarpon like a horse. Yeah, but not on shallow water, oh. in deep water. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I like to ride them in deep. <laughs> Don't you be going down there. Yeah, I got to. She's she's trying to go out. Okay. This is, the, this, is the, this is the first time I'm doing something like this. Is it? Yeah. First time this crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Rats. Ah. Bugger. Oh, he snubbed. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. That's what I was afraid of. The fight was too long. She wore through it. Fly's gone. It's all afraid. He snubbed the what? 80 pounds? 60 pounds? 80 pounds. That's what I was afraid of. We should have probably just tried yeah. to land her in the boat. Yeah. It's too long. It's an hour <laughs> and a half, right? Rats. I don't think it's an hour and a half. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever it was, it's. I really wanted to see that fish. Rats. Rats. 